Hey, this is Dave from the Centurions Review, and what I have here is the the, um, the Metal Reaper Miniatures model uh, Jeeves, the Clockwork Robot. I had a lot of fun painting this, and I just want to uh, describe the figure and tell you guys how I painted it. So, you know what paints to use and stuff if you want to make it uh, uh, yours look similar to this. First thing I did is, well, let's look at the front and the back. Uh, you can see it's uh, got lots of metallic colors and rust colors. Um, back is pretty similar. You'll notice it's not on the standard base. I cut it off the uh, base it came with and I put it on one of these uh, bases here. I'm not sure what these are. I got them in a trade. Uh, it looks like something some guy made in his own house or something. I don't know if he made it with a Luma light or what, but uh, see, it looks pretty cool, but it does, it's not a, I don't think it's a professional base though, but you can base it any way you want. But the first thing I did is I primed it with uh, Games Workshop Chaos Black, which I use as a primer that works pretty well. It's nice, it's nice and thin. And then the spots it missed, I used uh, Reaper Pure Black. I just painted the whole whole guy black. And then the first color I did was uh, Reaper Black and Steel. I put that over the whole figure as the base metal coat. And then I heavily dry brushed tarnished steel over it. And it looked too shiny after doing that, so here's what I did. I took Rust Brown from Reaper also. This is a pretty old uh, bottle. The bottles look a little bit different now. But I made a wash out of it, and I washed the entire uh, figure with it to get the uh, rust and all the cracks and stuff. And when I was done, I heavily dry brushed it again with uh, tarnished steel one more time, but uh, making sure I left uh, plenty of uh, rust and the cracks and stuff. And like on a circular saw here, I, uh, I don't know if you can see with this camera, but there's plenty of rust uh, on the top of the saw. And so after that, it still looked a little bit flat, so I took true silver. And when I wiped the true silver off my dry brush, I made sure there was barely any on there, and I just hit the high, high, the high spots to uh, give it a little bit more definition and make it pop out more. And that was uh, most of the work for it. So then there uh, came the eyes. The eyes, I just uh, put black on the eyes initially. And then I dotted the eyes with Reaper True Blue. And you'll notice uh, around the eyes it looks like uh, it's outlined in white. It's not actually white. Uh, what I used was um, Reaper Misty Gray to outline around there to make it look a little bit better. For the base, I first painted it with a uh, Reaper Shadowed Stone, and after that, I mixed uh, Shadow Stone with uh, Pure White to make a lighter color, and on the top where the tiles are, I don't know if you can see the tiles here, but uh, I made like kind of a cement looking co color and I dry brushed these tiles with it, uh, letting the cracks stay the original color. And the rocks here on the edges, uh, I dry brushed it with that color to make it pop out. But as you can see, it's a pretty simple technique. And uh, if you guys get this figure, maybe uh, you'll want to try it out. As you see, it doesn't take much paint, and it's really simple to do. And I think uh, you'll be able to do uh, a damn good job with it. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe to my channel so you can see more videos like this. Have a good evening.